<laughs> you see yourself? Yes, I see myself on the best part. Oh, you are the best yes. part. And we even have Chunky Mucky. I'm going to be eating that later. Thank you. <laughs> the Wonder Dog. <laughs> you should see her dance. She's working it. Especially beat. <laughs> <laughs> She's so mean to me. Tell her to leave her fingers to herself. <laughs> now, as this conversation goes on, it needs a little music. A couple of summers ago, Hannah decided that she wanted a dog. And we're a busy family. Both Greg and I work, and Hannah's in school and has extracurricular activities. And Greg and I talked and just said, there's no way, we can't handle a dog. And she kept bugging us and bugging us. I'll take care of it, I'll do whatever, I'll, I'll feed it, I'll, I'll take it outside and play with it. And, and we were just really reluctant to, uh, to get her the dog. And after a while, God just, started talking to me saying yeah you do need a dog you this is this is the right thing to do and she kept on and kept on and finally uh, you know she talked uh, she talked us into it which uh, we're very fortunate that we gave in and uh, because uh, the dog really ended up saving her life Frenchie and Hannah were sleeping in Hannah's bed and it was about 4 a.m. Hannah carried Frenchie into us and woke us up and said I can't sleep Frenchie keeps pawing at my pillow and won't let me sleep. And probably about 30 minutes later, she was kind of, she came in and uh, she didn't know where she was. She said her stomach was hurting and we told her to get to the bathroom. And I got up to follow her, except I couldn't find her. She, she, didn't, she didn't go to the bathroom. She, and then later on we realized she didn't know where the bathroom was. She was already disoriented. Um, I found her back in her room and she was trying to figure out where the bathroom was. And, it was just rough. It scared us to death. We thought hopefully she's just uh, maybe caught a bad uh, virus or something. But uh, as the night went on, about 30, 40 minutes later, we knew something was really wrong. We rushed her to the local children's hospital emergency room, and by the time we, we got to the emergency room, the nurse that was managing the triage area and came out to the reception desk and said, I'll take her now. There she started uh, having convulsions and uh, she couldn't respond to anything we were saying to her, couldn't respond to the doctors and uh, eventually um, she just started actually foaming at the mouth so we were, we were scared to death. The doctors actually uh, rushed in, got a CT scan and, um, and that's when we found out that she had a brain tumor. And uh, <clears throat> it was, that was, that news was difficult enough but the first, my first question was is it malignant? And, and she said, yes, it, it looks like the, the initial read looks like it is. And um, <clears throat> I thought my world had collapsed around me. It, it hurt like nothing I have ever felt before. You really, I guess you get numb, but you just drop to your knees. You, you don't know what to do. You, uh, it's like somebody hits you in the gut. You just, you don't know, you can't describe it. It's, uh, um, I don't know, it's really, uh, I don't know, it's the worst thing I guess you could, you could ever imagine. Uh, the day of the surgery was um, long, uh, basically no sleep or little sleep and just a lot of worry and fear and um, they started the surgery I think about 9 o'clock. They actually took her back about 8 and prepped her and started the surgery about 9 and it lasted close to 4 hours, not quite 4 hours. We got calls every 30 minutes from the operating room to give us a status update, and she did very well. And then we met with the neurosurgeon afterwards, and um, he was able to remove the tumor. He called it a full resection, which means that if all visible parts of tumor were removed. But we got her back down to the, to the ICU room, and um, she woke up. We were able to talk to her. And, 
she did great. It's really amazing that I guess she's the one that keeps us going. She's the one that gives us the strength because she took this, this terrible situation, never said, you know, poor me or pitiful me, but actually tried to, uh, to figure out how she could help others. She just did amazingly well. While we were in the hospital, a cousin of hers who, who was in the National Guard sent out an email to all of his military contacts asking them to pray for her. So when we got home, we checked our email. We had hundreds of messages. And she was just blown away that these soldiers who were out fighting for our freedom would take the time to pray for her. And, and that really just touched her. And she thought, well, I've got to do something for them. What can I do? So initially, we started trying to respond to, to each of the emails. And in every email, she would ask the soldier what she could do to help them. And her cousin said, well, you know, the Army takes pretty good care of us. but." Sometimes we see children over there that don't have very much, so it, it might be nice if you collected pencils and pens and notepads and we could hand those out to the children that we run into. So she decided at that point she was going to start a club called Army Angels and she was going to collect supplies to send to the soldiers so that they would have what they needed and that um, they could hand out supplies to the children so the children in that area would have what they needed too. And she did it. Since that time, we probably shipped 150 boxes overseas to um, Iraq and Kosovo and Afghanistan, but it really just started with her desire to help others. She got up one morning and walked into my bedroom and said, Mommy, I'm glad I have cancer. And I <laughs> paused and kind of collected myself and said, Okay, Hannah, can you, can you tell me why? And she said, if I didn't have cancer, I wouldn't have started Army Angels and I wouldn't have met all these nice people. And you know, if a seven-year-old little girl can turn brain cancer into a positive, then I'm fairly certain most of us that are facing challenges can face those challenges and, and turn them from a negative to a positive.